my name is Peter and on this video I'm going to show you how to install Odoo on your Mac. First of all, you have to open the terminal. This is terminal, if you can't find it in the dock, just type in terminal and hit enter. Next, we need a browser. Open browser. Okay. Let's make it smaller. We need homebrew. Yeah. Go into homebrew, copy this stuff, and paste it in your terminal. As I have it already in there. I don't really need to install it. It's completely empty at start and it will help us to install all the, the, the parts necessary for Odoo. Once you have it, it might be useful to visit odoo.com and see the documentation. So once you're in Odoo, let's see docs. And there's installation guide. It's not not really simple, but it's useful. Let's install Python. As the standard version of Python is not really supported by Odoo, so we just need to update. Once the Python is installed, what else we need? Probably some kind of the database. Uh, although by default use, is using PostgreSQL, so let's install PostgreSQL. See, that's how what the brew is used for. If you programmed in in Java before, you might heard about Spring, which is installing a dependency, so like Maven as well. Let's copy paste, but uh, homebrew is even easier. Just type whatever you, you want to install. So let's let's install Postgres. Next, probably we can install Node. Maybe even npm. Let's see. Let's see. I want to explain you everything because it's not necessary at this point. Probably will also use the free type, so it's like uh, it, that's the software library used to render fonts. Now we can take care of Odoo. You have to clone Odoo from the website. See? Community. You can also type clone uh, git Odoo in the Google. Copy, paste. Okay, guys. So, as we're using Mark, we'll need to install this stuff. Everything is in. Instruction copy and paste it in the new window of terminal. Ok, 
Okay guys, in the meantime, we can play a bit with the, the Postgres. We installed the database, but we don't really know if it works. There are a couple ways of, to check how or if, if the database is working right now. You can check the port, because Postgres is a sync port uh, 5432. So let's check if the port is used or not. Five four three two. Yeah, so there is something on five four three two. The other way of checking if it's running or not is command for it. You can Google it online. Slash user slash local. and status so it says server is running so there won't be any issues okay as you can see the stuff is already downloaded let's now check if it's on the desktop let's type in ls it lists the stuff yeah, as you can see, there is auto in there. Let's get in. Yeah. It's there, but it's not ready yet. We need to install all the dependencies. They are stored in the requirements txt. We don't really need to open it, as it says here. You just need to type in this stuff. Hop. It's gonna take a while only. And now there's time to run it. Let's check it out. Dot slash auto bin. As you can see, server is running. But it's not all, not everything. It's running locally on the port 8069. You can check it in here if the port is available and running. Yeah, it is indeed. And of course, in here 127. If you want, you can load the demonstration de data, but I prefer not to. And click Create Database. As you can see, server is working on something. I'm just creating the database. It's fully automated. Welcome to Odoo Words.